Hi, today we're going to talk about poop, more specifically diarrhea in your pet dog. So diarrhea in dogs is one of the most common illnesses that I see at a practice. It is one of the main reasons why you bring your pet to your vets. If you're worried about your dog having an upset tummy, you should first and foremost examine the poop. Check their stools. This should be done on an occasional basis anyway because it allows two different things. One, you know what your dog's poop should look like to see whether they're actually having problems or not. Secondly, allows you to see what is normal. Every dog's poop is just slightly, slightly different. Most dog's poops, they should be firm, log shape, chocolate sort of brown color, and a pretty good consistency really. So the main indicator for diarrhea is of course, if your dog is having loose feces, and sometimes the color can range also between yellow to um, red, sometimes a very, very darker brown, or even black. Very, very occasionally, you may get green. The texture, okay, rather than a normal, solid, firm one, which you are more likely to sort of experience, it may be just slightly loose so that you cannot pick it up with a kitchen towel or it's much harder to clear up. Two, full on liquid, just liquid. Um, and if your dog's poop is black or has like little coffee grains or has sort of a redness in it, potentially blood. Certainly, I'll be advising you to bring your dog to your vet immediately because it could be something very, very serious. Other symptoms that sometimes may be associated with a dog having diarrhea is um, if your dog is vomiting or has a loss of appetite or actually reduced in weight, got skinnier. A bit of tummy ache, abdominal pain, where you get a whole hunched up belly. Sometimes they do the prayer pose, the down dog pose, like in yoga, whereby they stretch their front and their backside goes very, very high up. Sometimes it's just normal stretching, or when you do it for a prolonged period of time, or if your dog does not really do that in general and keeps doing that, that could be a problem. It could be lethargy. So if your little doggy is not as active or as uh, bright or as happy as what he usually would be, or any other general symptoms of illness or unwellness or disease, you know, there are other, these other signs combined with a diarrhea, maybe you should bring your dog to the vet because it could be something more serious that is worth checking it out. So what causes diarrhea? There can be quite a few different causes. For acute diarrhea, whereby it is just immediate, quick, sudden, where a dog is only unwell for a short period of time, like maybe the afternoon or just a day, the causes can be maybe a sudden diet change. Uh, your dog has picked up something that he shouldn't be, uh, be picking up, like uh, chocolate, God forbid, because it can be toxic, uh, dairy products, or just anything that they pick up off the floor when they went for a walk. Sometimes if your dog's tummy is quite sensitive, it can be as simple as licking off a toxic plant or just drinking a bit of dirty puddle of water. Anything that can upset a tummy can cause a bit of diarrhea change as well. Sometimes you may be giving scraps off the table, like a bit of Sunday rolls, a bit of Yorkshire pudding, maybe a bit of Brussels sprouts, anything different, it can cause a tummy upset. Or sometimes when you're changing the food, a sudden diet change, you, you didn't gradually change it. You just change from A to B. Usually that happens when you ran out of food and you cannot find a normal brand of food and you just pick any food off the shelf in terms to tide the weekend over or tide this particular session over. Then that's where problems begin. So uh, important tip to that is do not run out of food in the first place. Um, the other things would include things like uh, potentially worms or other parasites or infection like uh, bacteria, virus, uh, other parasitic infections. This can mainly be prevented, uh, keeping on top of your worming and your vaccinations. In more sort of serious chronic cases, the reasons could also include dietary intolerance giving our little friend here food that they're actually allergic to, and hence that can cause a problem because uh, 
is just like constant irritation. Or if they are under a lot of stress, sometimes uh, you can see dogs that have just recently been rehomed, or when there is something happening in the household, like either a domestic issue or um, renovation or a child involved, anything that causes stress to your dog that can sometimes result in a diarrhea as well. And if uh, there are also other conditions like potential uh, pancreatic disease, uh, inflamed bowel disease, IBD, or other illnesses such as uh, irritated bowel syndrome like IBS, and also what we call sort of a SIBO, S-I-B-O, uh, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Another term for that is what we call ARD, antibiotic responsive diarrhea. So if your vets use this term, that's probably what uh, it is about. And in a very, very extreme and very, very rare cases, chronic diarrhea can sometimes be a symptom of cancer. However, this is very, very rare. Usually it's coupled with a lot of other signs which would trigger off alarm bells that your vet should be able to bring out and uh, pull out and tell you more about it. So in technical terms, apart from loose feces, diarrhea also includes increased frequency of pooping daily, which means that it could be normal poop, but it's actually usually do uh, usually a dog does maybe twice a day or three times a day, but suddenly it becomes five to seven times a day or even nine to eleven times a day. So it's just more pooping in the whole day. That is also classified as diarrhea. That is also classified as something is fundamentally wrong because they shouldn't poop like that. If you're concerned that your dog has diarrhea and are wondering whether to take them to the vets or not, short answer is always bring your pet in. If you're worried, because you just keep worrying, your pets are there to help you, even if it is to obtain a peace of mind from your vet. For the all clear, you should bring a dog in if they're experiencing any of the other symptoms I was telling you about earlier on, because they are indicators that your little doggy may be more unwell and more sick uh, than you expect and will certainly uh, potentially need treatment really, or at least for the investigation to make sure everything is okay. Other reasons to bring your dog in is if your dog is either very young or very old, very small or already quite ill because they haven't got too much reserves to play with. When you are bringing your dog to your vet, your vet will probably do some checks to see how bad is bad. Apart from obtaining a detailed history and a thorough clinical examination, sometimes they may need to do further testing depending on the severity of the diarrhea. It could include things like a fecal test to look out for uh, Salmonella, Campylobacter, Giardia and all the different things that they can find in the feces. Or they can uh, or potentially do blood tests as well to try to rule out or in sort of uh, pancreatic issues or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Um, sometimes they may even do abdominal x-rays if, it is, uh, if your vet thinks that you know, it's serious enough ultrasound and potentially even endoscopy whereby they put a little camera either down the, the front, uh, the in, inside the mouth into the esophagus, into the stomach um, or up the backside, up the colon to see what is happening over there. In very very rare circumstances and much more serious circumstances they may even have to do what we call exploratory laparotomy whereby they have to examine going inside the abdomen is a surgery to find out whether they can find a causal reason a, a particular problem that's causing the diarrhea and causing them, causing them to be unwell. I hope this is of value to you. Be safe, be good. I look forward to see you at the next live event. Don't forget to watch part two. This is only part one. And uh, this is Amity.